I think, granted, all we know about what first century Jews believed about death and believed or hoped about resurrection, it makes no sense at all. You see, if Jesus' followers had seen a vision, if they had had a revelation, um, they had categories already available in their culture to talk about um, seeing an angel or maybe being visited by a spirit. You notice how in Acts chapter 12, when Peter is in prison and the early church are having a prayer meeting for his release, but they're not that faithful because they actually think he's going to be killed. Um, and then Peter is miraculously released and then shows up at the house. And when he's still outside knocking on the door and the little maid Rhoda says, it's Peter, it's Peter, they say it must be his angel. I see, they think that Peter has been killed in the prison, which was what they were expecting, and that this is uh, a sort of angelic vision of Peter while he is on his way maybe to paradise. They don't say he's been raised from the dead, and being visited like that by some, you know, we, we know it in our culture as well, sometimes after somebody we love has died, they appear, they sit at the foot of a bed, they are suddenly there in a chair, and then they're gone again. And for them, that would be perfectly compatible with the normal process of grieving and mourning and the normal process of burial. They would bury the body, and then a year or so later, a secondary burial, they would collect the bones and put the bones in an ossuary. Now, there is not a shred of evidence that anyone ever did that with Jesus because they didn't believe this was an angel or a spirit. They believed this really was him. Therefore, as a historian, I am forced to say that two things must have happened. One, they certainly had seeings, sightings of Jesus, but two, they really knew, knew the tomb was empty. Either of those, without the other, they would have had easy explanations. Empty tomb, somebody's stolen the body. Visions, it's just one of those visions, they happen, and it doesn't mean he's not dead. But the fact is, they said, he isn't dead anymore. Resurrection is not a way of re-describing death in a rather more hopeful fashion. It's a way of overthrowing death. That's at the center of the New Testament.